Good morning and welcome to Trade of the Week on Monday, the 13th of November. We had the perfect trade on uh, back at the end of October when my colleague Sean Morrison went long the NASDAQ 100 at 14,286. And as you can see here, we've been swiftly going up on that index ever since. If you're still long, I would uh, suggest you keep your longs because it looks pretty likely that we may actually be heading towards the 16,000 mark until the end of the year. And if you want to move your take profit stop up, uh, you could do so to just below the last reaction low at 15,138 uh, if you are so inclined. So this trade is still ongoing and looking really, really good. And then last week I went long the uh, DAX 40 contract, the German DAX futures contract at 15,100. That one is also in profit by about uh, 200 points or so. So either you can cash them in now if you think that uh, we might be capped once again by this downtrend line going back to uh, July of this year. Or you could just raise your take profit level to uh, break even again just above 15,100. So you basically have a free trade on. Um, it's up to you really what, what to do, but uh, it's still a um, positive trade on that one, which brings me to this week's trade of the week. And uh, what I would like to do is to go short Arabica coffee. And the reason for this is purely technical because we've got what is called negative divergence. And that happens when you're making a new high on the price chart in case of coffee here, the coffee price, but you haven't got confirmation of that new high uh, on the oscillator, on the derivative of that price, which in this case is the relative strength index over nine period. And here you can see we made a lower high compared to the high made at the end of October, whereas on the coffee price, we made a higher high compared to the late October high. And when that happens, quite often you tend to get a correction against the trend, which in this case is a short term uptrend. And it could also sometimes lead to a major reversal. And the fact that we've now fallen through the 200 day simply moving average here at 16,981 for me is negative. And therefore, I would like to uh, sell Arabica coffee uh, and uh, with the expectation being that we continue a long term downtrend that we've seen uh, over the last year or so with regards to the coffee price. So this week's trade of the week is to go short Arabica coffee, uh, ideally on a bounce back towards the 17,000 mark with a downside target of around 14,700 and a stop loss just above last week's high at 17,485.